Hi guys, my name is Raz with AutoDS and in today's video we'll be explaining the dashboard area for your AutoDS account. Now the dashboard is the first page you'll arrive on as soon as you log into your AutoDS account and it has a lot of important information regarding your account. So let's have a closer look at everything together. On the top of the screen here you can see your account username and right next to it you can see the name of the store we're currently looking at. You can easily manage as many stores as necessary on a single AutoDS account. To switch between stores we'll use this drop down menu right here. If you click on this link right here you'll get your own personal affiliate link. Every user on AutoDS has his own affiliate link and of course you can use this to earn more money and share AutoDS with other people. Right next to it we'll have language display and logout option. Here you can see the color tabs. The first one is the active listings tab. Clicking on the active listings tab will take you directly to the active listings page and of course you can see all the items that are currently live and being monitored by AutoDS on this particular store. Here you can see the Untrack tab. The Untrack tab will show you all of the items on your eBay store that are not being monitored by AutoDS and so are untracked listings. The Orders tab will show you all the orders from this store within the past 24 hours and clicking on it will take you directly to the Orders page. And lastly we have the Profits tab which will show you estimated profit within the past 24 hours now if you're using automated orders on AutoDS, the system will show you profit once the order has been fulfilled automatically. Meaning if you have a lot of orders here and not a lot of profit here, that might mean you have orders that are yet to be fulfilled. Let's scroll further down the page and see what else we have. Here you can see the orders and profits chart. Now of course you can change the display of this chart to show you days, weeks, months, and even years if you needed to. On the right side of the screen we have some additional account information. The monitoring products tab will show you the number of listings you currently have on your AutoDS account and your current subscription plan. Remaining limit will show you the exact amount of items you can still upload and monitor within your current subscription plan on AutoDS. eBay account limits will show you the number of stores you currently have connected on your account. Now you can add as many eBay stores as necessary to your AutoDS account. 10 is a default number. If you have more than 10 eBay stores you'd like to connect to AutoDS, please contact us directly at the customer support chat on the bottom right side of the screen. Here we can see the number of out of stock listings we currently have on this store. Clicking on the number will take us directly to the active listings page which will be filtered to show us only these out of stock items. Under pending orders we can see all the orders that have yet to be fulfilled on the store and here we can see the failed auto orders for the store. Of course clicking on the number will take us to the orders page to show us pending orders or failed orders accordingly. If we scroll further down you can see your eBay account limits. This will show you the name of your account, quantity of items remaining and amount remaining for your eBay limits. And here you can access user statistics. You can select one or more of your stores, select a date range you'd like to filter by and click on show details. This will show you user statistics for your store. As we said, you can enter one or more of your stores to get a complete overview of the account statistics and you can change the date range that you're looking at as you see fit. And lastly, we have the left side menu bar. Here you have the tabs that will give you access to all of the different tools and features of AutoDS. So of course we can access our active listings page, we can access the untracked listings page, you can go to the orders page, the customer service tab will enable you to handle all of your communication with your buyers, handle cases and returns directly through AutoDS with no need to go into eBay or PayPal. 
Beneath that we have the monitors tab. Here you'll find all of the different settings for the different monitors on AutoDS. The AutoDS Finder is here to help save you time and money for doing market research. The system will locate best-selling items on eBay, find them on the supplier source site and upload the items directly to your store. On the Uploader tab, you can upload manually, in bulk, and even schedule your items for an exact time and date. Further down, we have the Invoice tab, which will show you your billing cycle and your next payment to AutoDS. On the Gift Cards tab, you can purchase gift cards for the various suppliers AutoDS supports. Please note, however, that this is an external service that we offer, and while you can access the service through this tab, it is not provided directly by AutoDS. The settings page will have the main settings for your AutoDS account. There you can change subscription plan, add VA accounts, and do various other things relating directly to the AutoDS account itself. And lastly, our Help Center. Here you'll find additional FAQs, articles, and video guides explaining all of these tabs and everything else that is AutoDS. If you ever do need additional assistance, please contact us directly at the customer support chat on the bottom right side of the screen. I hope you have enjoyed this quick overview of the dashboard area for AutoDS. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.